The following is a listener-supported ministry from the Grace Evangelical Society. We welcome you once again to Grace in Focus, the radio broadcast and podcast ministry of the Grace Evangelical Society. Today we want to highlight our missions and our regional conference ministry. Ken and Catherine will be bringing a report on some recent ministry and how the Word of Grace, the Free Grace Gospel, is flourishing. Please find out more about us at faithalone.org. You can get information about all of our ministries, about giving to this ministry, and about our online seminary at faithalone.org. Now here are Ken and Catherine with today's report and a discussion about grace. Welcome to another episode of Grace in Focus. This is Ken Yates. And this is Catherine Wright. We have kind of a special podcast this time. It's we just completed a regional conference Mm -hmm. on the border between Florida and Georgia. Yep. It's related to a question that we often get here at GES, and that is, is the message of grace going out? Mm -hmm. And why do so few churches teach it. And that's what was so exciting about this regional conference, because this conference involved Spanish speakers. Mm -hmm. Everyone there, maybe with the exception of one or two people, were Spanish speakers. And it's interesting to see what the Lord is doing. When we look at, for example, in the Bible, sometimes, you know, the Word of God is what would we say, oppressed, held down, and how how does the word go out? You know, take, for example, in Acts, when they're being persecuted, we find them leaving, the Christians leaving Jerusalem, and they're spreading the word. Mm-hmm. So the question would be, how is the word of grace being proclaimed today? Again, when people complain about or are worried about maybe is is a better word, mm-hmm. is the I message think, getting out? You know, um, I was just talking to a friend this week about, I call it the Elijah complex, right? In Romans, when it's like, Elijah's all sad because he just feels like he's the only one. And there's so many bad teachers out there. And you, just so within the Christian world, you know, we see so many false teachers and it can be very discouraging. And so, yeah, there is a little bit of the word is being so suppressed and it's being so hindered, it seems, from our perspective a lot of the time. And so there is, I think, uh, especially with those who understand the issues, who understand that salvation is a gift and can't be lost. Well, when you look at so many Christian groups and churches and organizations, they don't teach that. And that's one of the attacks against GES yeah. and, and other free grace people that where they say, well, you can't be right because nobody. You're the minority. Yeah. And, no, and nobody teaches this. Exactly. Well, that's what was so exciting. And Catherine and I both were at this conference. That's what was so exciting about mm-hmm. this conference was that it was well attended for a regional. We had over a hundred for mm-hmm. every session. And then we spoke at the two churches and everybody was free grace. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was amazing. It was especially encouraging. It, it just, to, it was like every two minutes, you just heard another aha moment. They audibly were just like, yes, that makes so much sense. And I don't know, as a teacher, there's just nothing more exciting than seeing people get it, get the grace message and being excited about it. It it was just super encouraging to see. The point here would be, or one of the points here would be that the message of grace is always going to go out. Yeah. And sometimes it happens in the most surprising ways. Mm -hmm. And this was a very surprising way for me. Here were the Spanish speaking folks and they came from countries where when you look at it, there is no free grace Mm -hmm. representative. Especially if you look at their literature and, I mean, you're talking about with the Hispanic culture, a very deep seated roots in Catholicism often. And then even if they are coming into the evangelical space, it's typically going to be lordship or some form of reformed theologies. At least that's what we were told um, by our friends. And so very works focused in the Hispanic community. So to see this 
group understand grace in such a clear way was extremely exciting. Well, the guy who was heading it up down there, uh, Marino. Yeah, shout out to Marino. Yeah, his shout family. out to yeah. yeah, they listen. He told me that, yes, you know, in Spanish speaking countries, the pastors that are not Catholic, they're basic, well, Arminianism is there, but mm -hmm. when they have commentaries, there are just tons of lordship salvation and like you say works salvation books that are available to them and they don't and they don't have any other option or they don't see any other option and that's been my experience as I've traveled into these countries as well you go into a pastor's office and all the works on his bookshelf that are translated into spanish it's lordship and calvinism and and so to see this large group of Spanish speakers solidly free grace was really cool. Mm -hmm. And at GES, we have some of our books translated into Spanish. Yeah. And every one of the, we didn't know how many to take. We took a hundred books with us in Spanish and every one of them were bought. We know. even took another 50 plus in English and those were all bought. I mean, we yeah. left empty handed, thankfully, you know, just so, so happy to leave with no books. That and I will so tell cool. you something else that Catherine and I noticed about this. And again, the point is that God is getting the message of grace out. Yeah. yeah. Even if you're feeling like Elijah. Yeah, even if you're feeling like Elijah, like, oh man, this, this message is not going out. I'm the it only is. one. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was exciting about this is the leaders in the church, mm. like the music director, the deacons, other people in these churches, it wasn't just Marino and right. one or two other that no. were leading it, mm -hmm. but men would get up, you know, who had various positions within the church and they were proclaiming free grace. And their prayers and especially just listening to their prayers, right? I right. mean, I, I couldn't understand them, but you were telling me later that even in his in some of the public prayers, it was just very clear that they understood grace. Yes, and the other thing about this is these two churches they have contact with in other countries with Spanish speaking countries, but two in particular were the Dominican Republic and Mexico, mm -hmm. and they are establishing churches there and Bible studies there. It's not just Georgia and Florida. Florida. Mm -hmm. And in fact, at the conference, there were pastors from other cities that were visiting that were interested in this teaching. They had been exposed to it and they wanted to know more. Some of them said that they wanted us to come back and do a conference in their church. Yeah, know? we now this is our second conference with this group. We went last year mm -hmm. and we did it at one church. And then this year is our second time and they want us to come back next year and Lord willing that will happen. And then maybe even do something with them in the Dominican. Right. And that's where I was leading uh, with the Dominican Republic in Mexico. They have a Zoom class mm -hmm. and they invited me to attend it. Mm -hmm. And it was last night. Marino's going through the Gospel of John, and he has all these handouts. And uh, these people, as far as I could tell, 90% of them were either in Mexico or the Dominican Republic. And they were all grace. <laughs> you know, like Marino asked the question, now suppose uh, someone is a believer, they believed in Jesus for eternal life, they know they have it, they have assurance, and then they go out and sin. And he goes, sin really bad, like rob or commit adultery or commit murder. And or go dancing. <laughs> now, they didn't mention dancing, but uh, <laughs> but they uh, they all said, well, they're still saved. Mm. You know, and you just simply don't hear that. You don't. You know, you don't hear that in uh, in lordship or Calvinistic or Arminian Bible studies. Mm -hmm. And so they get it. And they have this material that's coming. And by the way, the material uh, that they're using is solidly free grace. Marino was using notes by Lauren Fall, who is a free grace teacher. Who also came and who spoke also, yes. at the conference. And he so would, thank you, special thank you to Lauren for driving out from Arkansas, right? Yes. And the Gospel of John material he uses, he uses the secret believer. That's mm -hmm. what we covered last night. 
that Nicodemus is a secret believer, that even though Nicodemus was a secret believer, he was still a believer. He still had eternal life. Marino was going through all this and it was just so exciting to see them get it. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, Catherine just mentioned, we're looking at doing a conference in 2024 in the Dominican Republic with these folks. Yeah. So this is just really exciting stuff. Be praying, you know, obviously for for these opportunities and for these pastors as they're being bold in, in a community that's very difficult to teach grace in because there is a lot of opposition. But also, you know, with GES... We do have resources, we're, and we're working on more in Spanish, and so be praying for those projects. And we took uh, your book on Elizabeth in Spanish, which was kind of its grand premiere, if you will, to to actually give out um, for Spanish readers. So that's something that is still you know is available on our website, and then also the Gospel Under Siege by in Zane Spanish. Hodges in Spanish. And then we have our blogs that go out twice a week in Spanish. And so if you know or, you know, have a heart for the Spanish community, please be sharing those resources. Because as we mentioned, there is tons of bad material it translated into Spanish. And, and let me just say on that, just this week, we got our first shipment of, there's a, a book in Spanish. Right, Ken. Uh, yeah, Ken White, who's also a missionary in the Dominican Republic. And he wrote a book, Eternal Security, Seguridad Eterna, the the book is called, and we got that now for them. And so this stuff is there. They are responding. Shoot, in some sense, they (laughs) respond better than a lot of gringos or (laughs) Americans here in the States. They just seem much more open to it. And it's exciting to see what the Lord can do in this community now that it's not just in Georgia and Florida and the surrounding areas and it's growing, but also in these other countries. Also, I was going to add that we recorded those sessions. And so by the time you're hearing this, uh, you should be able to go to Faith Alone and hear the sessions. And those were done in Spanish. So there's another resource to where you could hear. You did several passages that are difficult passages um, in terms of just being misunderstood and mis- misapplied. And so... And so did Lauren and Marino. And so there's another resource in Spanish that is available on our website. Well, we hope this is encouraging to you. You know, if sometimes, like Catherine said, if you sometimes if you feel like Elijah, Mm -hmm. just remember the Lord is still at work. The message of grace is still going out. And until we meet again, remember, keep keep grace grace in in focus. focus. Did you miss an episode of Grace in Focus that you really wanted to hear? Just come to faithalone.org. That's faithalone.org. We have all our past episodes right there on the site. In addition, we have all kinds of free resources available for you. It's all designed to help you mature and grow in your understanding of Scripture. So come visit us at faithalone.org. That's faithalone.org. Our team is really great about answering questions, comments, and feedback. If you've got some, we hope to hear from you. It's radio at faithalone.org. That's radio at faithalone.org. On our next episode, we return to Romans with a discussion about spiritual gifts. Please join us. And until then, let's keep grace in focus. The proceeding has been a listener-supported ministry from the Grace Evangelical Society.